From the dashboard, if you go to Accounting and Advanced, on the right hand side, five down, you have tracking categories. You can name the tracking category as you wish. This is the name of your department. So in this example, we're doing it by geographical regions. And then you can set up the different regions within each category. You can call the department whatever it, you may want it to be, and you can have as many categories underneath as you require. You can rename these at any point by going back into this option. Once you have allocated income and expenditure against these categories and you navigate to your profit and loss, on the left hand side you have a compare region option. If you've named your tracking category as something else, it will say compare and whatever heading you have specified. You can, of course, as usual with the profit and losses, update the dates to what you require, but it will run you an individual profit and loss for each category. So you can see the income and any corresponding costs to give you a profit and loss at the bottom. Under the unassigned, these are items that have not been given a tracking category. You can go in <clears throat> and update these. So within this example, we have a number of sales that have not been allocated. <clears throat> and then once you refresh your profit and loss, these figures will update to reflect that as well.